everybody, it's Coach Rowe. You know, and you probably read my my title. I fell in the same hole. I can't believe I fell in the same hole. Listen, my name's Coach Rowe. Uh, my name's Ro- Roland Manny, and and you know, this is my very first YouTube live stream. And the reason why I was I'm doing it is because I got to step out of my comfort zone. See, my coach told me, listen, if you want to succeed, you got to step out of your comfort zone. And this is stepping out of my comfort zone. Because see, I kept falling into the same hole, the same hole, same excuses and blaming everything else. The lighting wasn't right. The timing wasn't right. Nobody will listen. And she said, you just got to step out of your comfort zone. And I think a lot of us, you know, we, we, we do, we, we fall into the same hole. We know it, but we keep blaming other people, whether it's our jobs, our relationships, uh, our health, our wellness. You know, I'm big into health and wellness and mindset and focus. A lot of times we just keep falling into the same hole and we don't know why we're there. It's because we blame everybody else. You know, I heard this great story. It was told by Wayne Dyer years and years ago, back in the in 1980 something. I remember listening to it and I never forgot it. And the story was about this woman named Portia Nelson. And she wrote this poem about her life. It's called There's a Hole in the Sidewalk. And she said, I, I walk down the street, there's a deep hole in the sidewalk. I fall in, I'm lost, I'm helpless. It isn't my fault and it takes me forever to get out. See, and a lot of time, a lot of us, that's where we are right now. We're walking down a sidewalk, you know, we're walking down the street, we're going through our life, we're fu- we keep, we find ourselves in this place where we don't wanna be, whether it's with our health, our finances, our, our mindset, or the people we hang around with. And we don't know how we got there and we just can't get out of it. We're so stuck that we just can't get out and we just keep blaming the circumstances, the situation, you know, what life is handing to us. And we're stuck in the hole and it takes us a long time to get out. And then she said, chapter two of my life, I walk down the same street, there's a deep hole in the sidewalk. I pretend I don't see it. I fall in again. I can't believe I'm in the same place. It isn't my fault. And it still takes me a long time to get out. See, some of us, were in chapter two. We pretend we don't see things. You know, we pretend we don't see that we got to change our eating habits. We pretend we don't see that we've gained too much weight. We pretend we don't see that the people that we're hanging around with are pulling us into the same hole. Our relationships are dragging us down. And guess what we do? We still blame everybody else. And then she said, chapter three of my life. I walk down the same street. There's a deep hole in the sidewalk. I see it. I fall in anyway. It's a habit. My eyes are open. I know where I am. It is my fault. And I get out quickly. And some of us right now, we might be at chapter three. Even though we know we're doing the wrong thing, even though we should be making changes in our life, even though let's say you're not healthy, you've gained too much weight and things aren't going right. Your doctor's told you, hey, listen, you better change some of these things that you're doing. Start living a healthier lifestyle, we don't do it. See, we see it, we fall in anyway. We we gotta change our habits because our habits predict our future. It's not our actions, because our actions predict our, our habits predict our habits, and our habits predict our future. So some of us, maybe we're in chapter three right now, where we're just we know the hole is there, we see it, we keep falling in. But here's the biggest thing she said: it is my fault. See, when we realize it is my fault, it's up to me to make the changes. It's not up to everything around us. It's up to me because here's what Jim Rohn said. Most people say when when their family changes, when their health changes, when their wife, their husband changes, when their family changes, when their job changes, when their boss changes, then they'll change. No. It's when you change, everything around you will change. That's chapter three. And then she said, chapter four, I walk down the same street. There's a deep hole in the sidewalk. I walk around it. See, once you take responsibility, then you can start seeing things in your life. You can start seeing the path that you're going down and you can start avoiding them and you can start going around them. But here's the only drawback to that is as long as you keep walking down the same street and you can see those things, you are have to get sucked back in. You know, you might be avoiding those negative friends, those negative family members, the ones that weren't bringing you in the right direction. But as long as they're there, as long as you can see them, there's a chance they can pull you right back in the hole. They can suck you right back in. Because here's what I know. Most people want you to get ahead of life, ahead in life, as long as you don't get ahead of them. 
So as long as it's there, maybe you're trying not to smoke and not to drink as much, but, you know, but as long as you're still walking by those things, it's still, you're going down that same path. There's a chance. It's just that chance that you might fall back in. And then she said, chapter five of my life. I walk down a new street. I walk down a new street. What does that mean? You change your circumstances. You change your life. You change who you're hanging around with. You change your, your eating habits. You change your wellness. You change your physical fitness habits. You start getting into these habits. You completely make a change. You stop hanging around the negative people. You start hanging around with OQP, only quality people. That's all you have around you. And once you start doing that, so once you start seeing that you're in that hole that maybe you didn't see. And once you start to realize, you look at your life and you say, you know something, I'm at chapter two. I pretend I'm not seeing things, but I remember it in the same place. I keep blaming other people. Or maybe you're in chapter three where you see the hole, you know it's there, you fall in anyway because it's a habit. Your eyes are open, you know where you are, it is your fault, and you take self-responsibility. Maybe you're at chapter three, or maybe you're at chapter four. You've been you've you've gone past one, two, and three, and you're walking down the same street, but those people, the negative people, the negative influences, the negative things that are in your life are still there, and you keep walking around them, but they're still in your sight. Here's what I'm telling you. Starting today, start walking down a new street. Start following the right people. Start be, surrounding yourself with the right people. Start developing new habits, and it'll completely turn your life around. So listen, I'm Coach Rowe. I hope you enjoyed my video. And you know, some most people have a life coach to help them live their life. I don't do that. I consider my life I'm a lifesaver. I want to help people save their life because here's what I realized. We're only given so much time in this world and I want to help people live their life every second, not waste it. I look forward to seeing you. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I want you to just have a great day. Thanks.